questions about the Bible, forgiveness and confessing of sins. Let's read the first book of Corinthians chapter 15 verse 17 then verses 20 to 22. And if Christ has not been raised, your faith is fertile and you are still in your sins. But in fact, Christ has been raised from the dead, the first fruit of those who have who have fallen asleep. For as by man came death, by a man has come also the resurrection of the dead. For us in Adam all die, so also in Christ shall all be made alive. Amen. How do I truly know my sins are forgiven today? Brethren, the Apostle Paul proclaims, If Christ is not risen, your faith is futile. You are still in your sins. But now Christ is risen from the dead and has become the first fruits of those who have fallen asleep. For since by man came death, by man also came the resurrection of the dead. For all in Adam all die, even so in Christ all shall be made alive. Now is Christ risen? Yes, absolutely. And according to the Bible, because he is risen, you are no longer in your sins. Jesus' resurrection is the living proof that all your sins have been completely and totally forgiven. You cannot preach grace without preaching the resurrection. You cannot preach grace without preaching the resurrected Christ. We are saved by grace through faith in our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Ephesians chapter 2 verses 4 to 9. But God who is rich in mercy because of his great love which, with which he loved us even when we were dead in trespasses made us alive together with Christ and raised us up together and made us sit together in the heavenly places in Christ Jesus that in the ages to come he might show the exceeding riches of his grace in his kindness toward us in, in Christ Jesus. For by grace you have been saved through faith, and that not of yourselves, that in the gift of God, not of works, lest anyone should boast. Brethren, our forgiveness is not contingent upon us and what we have or have not done. So no one can boast that they earn their forgiveness through their own efforts. Through faith in Jesus' finished work at the cross, we have received the gift of salvation. Salvation is a gift. When something is a gift, it means that you cannot work for it, earn it or merit it. A gift is lavished upon the recipient by the giver. And Jesus gave of his own life to ransom yours. Amen. You have total and complete forgiveness. Let's read Ephesians chapter 1 verse 7. In him we have redemption through his blood, the forgiveness of sins, according to the riches of his grace. Religion teaches that only our past sins, from the day we were born until the day we became Christians, have been forgiven, and that all our future sins are not forgiven until we confess them and seek forgiveness. Brethren, when Jesus died on the cross, how many of your sins were future? Unless you are more than 2,000 years old, all your future all your sins were future then. Jesus took them all upon himself, nailed them to the cross and declared, It is finished. So if you are not forgiven of all, then you are not forgiven at all. Yes, I mean Jesus also died for the sin that you have just committed. Yes, yes, and also for the sins which 
you will commit. Yes, yes, yes. That is why he said it is finished. Colossians chapter 2 verse 13 to 15 says, When you were dead in your sins and in the uncircumcision of your flesh, God made you alive with Christ. He forgave us all our sins, having canceled the charge of our legal indebtedness, which stood against us and condemned us. He has taken it away, nailing it to the cross, and having disarmed the powers and authorities, he made a public spectacle of them, triumphing over them by the cross. Amen. Yet, many of us are inconsistent in our believing. One part of us says, God has forgiven me of all my sins. But another part says, yes, but I must still confess my sins to be forgiven of them. Are you like that? Brethren, you are forgiven not because of your work of confession. Your confession cannot wash away your sins. You are forgiven because of the blood of Jesus shed for you. His blood alone cleanses you. You cannot believe that you are forgiven of all of your past, present, and future sins and still think that there is something for you to do to make that forgiveness complete. If you do, then it becomes your work too, not Jesus alone. We frequently ask a question like this is there a place for confession confessing of sins brethren if you have just sinned you can always tell god about it without feeling condemned because you know that you already have forgiveness and that jesus was condemned in your place but you don't confess your sins to god in order to be forgiven you already have total and complete forgiveness because of the blood of Jesus. Amen. Amen.